Deploying drones into the sky to track traffic on the ground. An experiment is underway right now in Somerville. I'm Courtney Cole. And I'm David Wade. The thought here is that the drones can be watching drivers and cyclists. WBZ's Tiffany Chan shows us how they hope to use the information to create safer streets. Prep. These drones going up 400 feet into the skies of Somerville Friday capturing how drivers and bicyclists interact. Where we see potential risk, potential near misses, as we call them. University of Massachusetts Amherst researchers say the goal is to improve safety for cyclists like Isabel Ledsky. Bicyclists actually just died earlier this week. A 62-year-old man was struck and killed by an SUV on Memorial Drive in Cambridge Monday, biking in rush hour traffic. It's a tragic reminder of how dangerous it can be for cyclists. There are still some really tight corners places where maybe bike lanes merge like suddenly into the street. That's where Dr. Eleni Christoffa and her team comes in, deploying four drones into the air and pressing record. <laughs> Software then identifies cars, bicyclists and pedestrians. This angle gives them an advantage like never before. Being on the ground looking down a 500 foot stretch of road is ill conditioned to be able to identify individuals and sometimes your views block. If you can get up to like 400 feet for instance, your the footprint that you can see from a single perspective uh, is uh, around like 550 to 600, sometimes even 700 feet depending on the aperture, the, the lens. And with that hard data, the team can identify what works and what doesn't. I mean, I think like something you'll see is like there'll be these like fence posts, like these uh, bollards, like mm -hmm. down bike pads, and then you'll see they no longer happen because cars knock them down. So I think that's a great point that maybe with these like bird's eye view, you can actually see how the cars are using the intersection. And making the roadways safer, not just for bicyclists, but for drivers and pedestrians too. From Somerville, I'm Tiffany Chan, WBZ News.